Welcome, First Lady Harmonic here. Looking at gold, a lot of people have been talking about gold. I've been hearing some calls for sales, some calls for buys. Um, so what I decided to do was take a look for myself to see what it is that I see. Um, of course, um, we know the structure of the basics is what um, is definitely needed in order to understand what kind of trend that we're in. So we can tell we're in a downtrend because this um, actual, this low has been broken and it's creating higher, lower highs and uh, lower lows. So <clears throat> from an Elliott wave principle method um, and an alternate ABC method, um, which harmonics as well, everyone knows that um, this is what I, I do primarily. Harmonics is nothing in principle, but um, Elliott wave principles, which is just wave points of one, two, three, four, fives. So <clears throat> what I'm looking at here, what I see, we have, um, let's get this down here. So we have, uh, let me just uh, use this antidote. <clears throat> okay, so we have a, this is the previous high, uh, lower high, higher high, and then all of a sudden price dropped. It made a higher low, and then it did not break um, this previous high. It actually started to, if I zoom in, I got my pen on right quick. Hold on one second. Let me just take the pen off. If we zoom in, we see that um, price could not break. It just really started making. Um, some type of triangle pattern this way here. <clears throat> As you can see, and then it just broke down below. <clears throat> so when I'm looking at the charts overall, you want to get a view. So I, I what I'm doing here is um, I'm zooming out so that way um, I can see exactly what's going on. Um, first thing I see is a head and shoulders pattern, <coughs> which is right here. <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. So this head and shoulders pattern is right here. We have shoulder, head, shoulder. And prices come. Sorry about not, it not being a a straight line prices come right there and then it, it dropped okay so that is the first pattern that I see um, I see a break the prices come down it has retraced and the question is where is this retracement at and with the alternate ABC pattern which I show in um, one of my lessons of harmonics understanding once you catch the retracement here if you have the patience you can actually stay in this trade until it hits a certain uh, Fibonacci extension level and you know it's gonna hit an extension level once this original swing uh, is broken, which it actually did break. <coughs> so what you can do is take out, I'll take out my Fib. Uh -oh. I don't know what happened there. There we go. I'll take out my Fibonacci. So swing high to low. I have 50% on. It looks like a 61.8, 886. And we see we have a 61.8 touch, correct? And usually I have my um, extensions already plotted on and I can put it on to show you. <clears throat> and this would be 61.8. But if you don't have it plotted on, what you can do is you'll take your Fibonacci expansion or extension tool and you'll go from high to low, back into high, and looking for a 61.8, and you see it lines up perfectly. So you can have your extensions already on, on your Fibonacci tool, which makes it a much easier one, one swoop, and you'll be able to see your X, A, B your, in your extension, or you can use the expansion tool, um, and it'll show you that 161.8 is the target. So usually you have a ratio of a 61.8 um, here. 
and its Fibonacci extension would be the 161.8 here. So for our chart, if you had gotten here, you could just ride this whole thing all the way down and it would have been for a total of, let's say you got in up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, right there. Okay. So how many pips was that? We're looking at whew, over 800 pips. Over 800 pips is standard lot, $8,000, and so forth and so on. Half of that, 4,000, you know, just do the math uh, when it comes to that. <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking at. So now, from a harmonic perspective, if I have a, a B, so this X, A, B, C of a 61.8, because the 61.8 and the 61.8, and it has broken the uh, X, X, A, the A leg, so letting me know it is going to be extension pattern. What harmonic would that be? It looks like it would be a shark. <clears throat> and I say that to say, this would actually look like this here. So, so you have X, A, B, C, and a shark ends at 886 or 113. So, you know, you may be saying, well, how do I know that this doesn't look like a shark? You have too many waypoints going in there. So what I actually did when I looked at this today um, was, um, let me just clear out all this drawing. Um, I just went to the weekly chart. Because see, that clears up all the waves and moves. And you can see the ratios line up because it's just one, uh, from the high, A, B, and now it's coming down to its C, C point. So from a weekly perspective, um, these swing high, swing lows um, are in line with this harmonic pattern. It's just that on a four-hour chart, you see what's going on within the weekly candles, and there's a lot going on. And so now you have a bias of where gold is going and where it could possibly be heading. Now, once this B point is actually broken on the way back up, um, this harmonic would be valid. If it never breaks it, it most likely will invalidate. So um, <clears throat> from a swing, uh, Elliott swing principle, um, some people know that I am actually incorporated that into my trading as well. So we have, uh, from a larger standpoint, we have actually two of them here, but you have a swing low, a retracement, so it's a one, two, and each low has to break its previous low to be uh, the next swing. So zero, I have my one, two, it can't be here, it hasn't broken, so three, and um, I'm looking for a four, and then a five. Okay, and now what's interesting about this is that we have a swing low, a retracement. We've come back, have not broken this previous low right here. So this is telling me that this too could be a harmonic based off of the fact that it's, it has, it's not breaking its low. <clears throat> so this is where we currently are sitting with price. Let me just make this a little bigger. So we see we're currently sitting here. So if I wanna take out my Fibonacci and I wanna measure what this possible pattern could be, you have X, A, swing up, 61.8, it is not. So we're looking at a 50%. Let's take that off. Keep my 886 for a possible bat pattern. <clears throat> so X, let me just, I got that right here. Let's change this color to yellow. X, A, B, C, D. Now, once again, we're looking for this B point to actually break in order to make this a valid harmonic. Um, it's a four hour chart, so we have a lot of time to sit and we analyze. So at this point right here in this current zone, let's draw this out right here. On the four hour zone, I usually draw in red. In this zone here, I'm looking for some type of uh, candlestick pattern or reversal signal for me to take a buy. So today's Thursday evening, the week is over. 
Um, so most likely next week it would make the move. I'm looking for maybe some type of a W or formation. <clears throat> Let me just like something's come down, maybe something like this. This that would happen, and I would mark that and just take it all the way up again. Once we get to the B point, this is where it's going to be very crucial to find out what's going to happen if it breaks this point. The B point most likely is going 886. So, I mean, let's look at the target of um, what we have here. If, let's say we get in somewhere here and we can just take this um, over to 886. We're looking at about 391 pips before we even correct come. And then from there, We'll make it we'll just make his way down to complete this larger harmonic so usually in completion uh, or reversals um there usually is a harmonic pattern for a reversal which would be a harmonic pattern for this one and going to complete this actual <clears throat> um harmonic here so how many pips would that be from the 886 down here That'd be 668 pips. And then you would ride that all the way back up to its decompletion here, which would be, I forgot what I said that would be, but let's see what I said again. That would be 991 pips. <clears throat> so what are we looking at here? We have 991 pips here. You have 387 pips here, and then let's bring this down, about 670 pips here. So right now you have uh, 380 pips up, 670 pips down, and then almost 1,000 pips back up. Do the math. So you can take this one pair, focus on not many pairs, forget everybody else, shut everybody else off. Um, Focus on one pair, pay attention here to see what, what's going on in the market. At this point right now, this is the major pattern that um, most likely is, pay, is playing out, especially which I'm I could pretty much, I'm not going to guarantee, but I'm pretty much just saying it's going to come down to the 618. But for now, <clears throat> what are we doing now? Now we're um, in the process of this pattern here. Um, right now we are sitting at support levels. And that is key, understanding where you are. You're sitting at a support level. <clears throat> and what's going to happen in this particular support level? Um, is it going to break? It's so far shown that it's not. We may get some type of uh, stop hunt. So you may get a, a nice wick down here, a, a hammer. And we wait for some type of bullish engulfing candle or a morning star pattern. And then just um, take it up. Take it up to at least to the 50%. Um, see what happens at that point. If it breaks it, we're going to go to the 886. Um, we do, let me just make sure we have a Fibonacci level because I didn't draw the ABA on either one of them. But you know, you do an ABA and you'll get, um, you need a 1618 and then you'll create a zone here of your reversal uh, zone, price reversal zone. So this is what I'm seeing for, um, for gold right now from a four hour perspective. If I want to go into, um, let's say the one hour to get some tradable entries. <clears throat> you see this nice little zone here is getting rejection. So what I'm looking for is for price to come back down into here and then show some, some rise up. <clears throat> but until it does, instead we have a nice little trend line here. Maybe for some time to break in this trend line, and we should be good to go. Like I said, this is going to probably take place next week, being this is Thursday night, Friday. We have some nice reversals and so forth. But um, let's just wait and see. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Until next time, First Lady Harmonic, I'll talk to you later. Go to the website, uh, liquidentourage.com. If you're interested in learning more, I'm going to post this on my uh, weekly and my analysis on my website. So. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook. Talk to you later.